Hello guys, today we'll be celebrating Native American Heritage Month and we will be taking inspiration from Arrow to the Sun, a book written by Gerald McDermott based on a retail story of a Acoma Pueblo Native American tale. The book tells the story of a boy who seeks his father. Storytelling is very important to Native American cultures because it creates a connection between the past and gives us wisdom to guide the future. So that is why we are reading during art class because we want to honor the Native American people all around the world. So today, let's go ahead and get started with this artwork inspired by the Pueblo people. All right, friends, so today, let's go ahead and get started with our design. Pueblo people created beautiful pottery filled with awesome designs. So we are going to be taking a look at some of the pottery. Remember to go and check out our Bitmoji classroom and so that way you can learn more about the Pueblo people. Let's go ahead and divide our paper into fourths. Now if you have a ruler, you may use a ruler so that you have a straight line. If you do not have a ruler, try your best to create fourths for today. Here are the four sections that I have created. Now, go ahead and create a shape in the middle. It can be any shape that you want, but since we are taking inspiration from the book Arrow to the Sun, I will create the shape of the sun, which is a circle. If you make any mistakes, simply erase them. Try your best. Now that you have created your shape for today, Let's go ahead and make some patterns around this shape. Now the pattern that I want to use are feathers. You can use something else, but I want to start with feathers today. Now see how I have four points? Well, on those four lines, I am going to start by creating the feathers like this. Make them about the same size. Now, I am going to make one in the middle of each one. And I will make one in the middle of each one again. That is what's going to help me have symmetry to my design. Remember, symmetry is how one side is going to be looking the same as the other side. So be sure that you have symmetry in your design. Mine sure looks the same. Now I am going to continue on with my design. After you have made your shape and created some sort of design around your shape, let's go ahead and create the designs for each of these individual spaces. Now for the designs, let's go ahead and create some lines. I will make some curvy lines, maybe some straight lines, maybe zigzag lines, maybe swirly lines, whatever kind of line that you want to create. Be sure to take your time. Now that we have done that, go ahead and inside of each of these designs, make some horizontal lines. Now your horizontal lines can go like this, just like mine, and they can be as thick or as thin as you want. Or if you want to make a pattern, make a line that's thicker and a line that's thinner, you may also do that as well. Alright guys, notice how I made my lines different in each part of the design. Now, go ahead and make another little line on the side of each one following the line that you had just made. Just like this. See how I'm following the inner line? There we go, I made my lines. Now, after you're done with that, go ahead and let's make a design right here in the inside of this shape. Now, remember how we were reading about Arrow to the Sun? In the book, the characters had little faces. We'll create a face, maybe. The face that I'm creating, I'm using different shapes. You don't have to do the same face like mine, but you can create your own. 
So create your own face based on arrow to the sun. Now that I have done that, I want to give a little bit more detail to my feathers. So I am going to go ahead and divide all of my feathers in half. Now that I've done that, I want to divide the tips as well. And there we have it. Now your design and my design are going to be looking completely different because your shapes and my shapes are going to be different. Remember to create different kind of lines and a different kind of shape for here. Now that you are done for this part, go ahead and underline your whole design using a black marker or a black crayon. Now this is what it should look like finished. Once you're done, go ahead and erase all of the pencil lines that you may see in your work. Alright guys, notice that in my work of art, there are some mistakes that I have made. You might make some mistakes too whenever you're underlining. So be sure that whenever you're at home, you underline very carefully so that way you don't make as many mistakes as I do. But remember, mistakes are a part of everyday life and sometimes we make mistakes and that's okay because we can learn from our mistakes that's called a growth mindset whenever you make a mistake and you don't give up and you try again next time so be sure to always keep trying this is how your last art piece of artwork should look like next time you will be using color pencils to color it in so be sure to have color pencils next time you come to art class I hope that you had a lot of fun today and that you continue celebrating Native American Heritage Month. And as always, remember to be kind and respectful to everybody else's cultures. Today, we read a book and art, and books and art are what make the world a better, more beautiful place. So be sure to always, always read at home. See you soon.